today I have a special treat. I'm going to ask. Check out the sunrise, y'all. We're on the east side of Luxor. So the sun is rising behind us where we are. Which is so cool. Look at the cruise ship coming into Luxor. They're coming from Aswan. Amazing. The artwork of mm -hmm. the artwork, the detail. Do they make all this stuff? Or some of this stuff they buy from they make all of this? Yeah, but this all came from Laxo. Really?
represent the throne of Egypt. We already we was inside the mummies. Mm -hmm. Here we can see the seven hat Horian stamper celebrating with the people capital of the columns uh -huh. seven shapes Believe it or not, where you see that brown, that open brown space, that's where the original Filet Temple used to be. When they uh, opened the dam, the temple was, um, it sunk. And so they decided to break it apart. They numbered each brick, broke it apart, and they built it here, right across from the original. idea just to reserve Egypt from the flood. After we built the high dam, mm -hmm. not just fill a temple and submerge under the water, mm -hmm. a simple temple also. A simple temple? Exactly. Oh wow. We cut a simple in 200 big feet and move it 200 meter high was that their temple the nubian temple to worship in one and fillet we already were uh-huh and the other one at abu simba okay you said the original name was what now nubian village nubian. nubian lake and what is it straight then to? after gamal abdul nasser the president gamal abdul nasser built the high dam mm -hmm. they called the lake nasser lake ah it's about 500 kilometers, uh -huh. 350 inside Egypt, 150 in Sudan.
you guys it's the final stop right here at the unfinished obelisk um, today we saw three places um, we saw the fillet temple we saw the um, high dam and now the unfinished obelisk so far so good now for all of you history uh, people or history buffs as we like to call them it would be great for you to get a tour guide and so i'm going to leave my mood our tour guide's information uh, down in the description box below it's just good to kind of understand what it is that you're looking at uh, when you're going to see these places and then for others who care about history but don't really have to have the information um i provided prices just because you know i think it's important that you know like how much everything cost and um what you'll be uh walking into um even though regardless i'm gonna give you the prices it's just important for you to have but um from my understanding you can do all of these uh, you can come to all of these places on your own and um you know just kind of uh feel your way through but definitely uh our tour guide came in handy when we did the when we did the um fillet temple at the Grand Restaurant and Cafe, as you can see here. And it was a part of our um, tour that we purchased. Right now we have salad, hummus, um, carrot soup, and bread. And we'll be looking for the rice and um, chicken to come out. This is my first time having um, carrot and rice soup. It's really good. It has a spice to it, but it's not unbearable. For the people who know me, they know I don't do hot at all. No, no spice. But this is good. Now, I have the bread here. And I wasn't a fan of this bread until I had some, I think it was some jelly. It was really, really hot. And I had some jelly with it jam and it was good I'm dipping this bread in this uh, soup it doesn't really it doesn't taste like anything I'm just doing it cuz I can I have hummus but I'm not a hummus fan and it doesn't taste like anything to me so I don't care to eat it Another interesting thing is it's cold or cooler in Luxor. It's still hot. It's still hot. 
I came out of that hoodie real quick at the filet temple. This salad, it has a um, little twang to it too. I personally eat all of the cucumbers and the carrots out of it. You know, the purple onion, I don't need that in my life. Ooh, the food is here. The, the main dish is here. Thank you so much.